want to make a move. What's next? Cut up our game. Just only way to get to the top. What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Odai Jay and we are locked in. This is the part two teaser. And let me say, that mid-season finale, exactly what we needed, but things went a little differently than what I was planning it to do. But nonetheless, this is good television right here. And Tariq has a huge decision to make because we got us a mini civil war and it's either you with the St. Patrick's or you're with the Tejadas. And you know on my channel, we don't trust the Tejada. Now, before we jump into this and break this down, if you like power content, theories, predictions, recaps after show discussions then you're at the right spot hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time i upload make sure you hit that like button and i'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers so in september when we come back i need to see all of y'all there so if you don't see this at 100 likes hit that like button but let's go ahead and jump into it this is the breakdown of the part two teaser of ghost the second half returning in september there isn't a lot of talking in this teaser but we can gather a lot of information. Listen to what Tariq says. I'm about to make a move. And then they show him, it looks like talking to Monet. Now I mentioned the little mini civil war and everything that just happened in episode five. When you start fast forward and we're looking ahead, Tariq is really about to start using his noggin and he's really going to have to become ghost. All that James St. Patrick stuff, that's behind us. We're getting into the last half of this season, the last half of the series. So he's really going to have to transform into Ghost all the way in order for him to come out of this clean. Now, remember, the only reason Ghost got taken out was because of his son. And we're calling this series Ghost. So only a Ghost could take out a Ghost. So for Tariq, he's definitely going to have to watch his back. And it's really going to have to be locked in with Davis and Braden. Because now we're starting to see all the moving parts ain't what we thought they were. Monet and her kids are trying to navigate. Now, Monet is bossing up at this point. She wants to be back in the game. She wants to make sure her family is straight. She's going to do whatever she can for Diana and the baby. Even though Kane is out with Noma doing what he's doing, she still has a little bit of love for him. Now, how is this going to work with Drew being jammed up? It's going to be tough because Drew is the weak link. I know I mentioned I want to see Drew go and talk to the police, but not like this. Don Carter is doing some shicey stuff, and you see the task force are breaking into the house and raiding, and they're actually sticking Monet up. So now this task force, they're about to drag Monet into any of this nonsense. So she says she want to make sure that the family is good, especially the baby. They're going to have to push Diana out of here. But it looks like Diana is going to be into more nonsense because they got her looking like a damn vampire in this teaser. Diana and Tariq's relationship is going to be rocky going forward because the civil war is going to be divided by the middle. And, well, Diana, whether it seems like it or not, she's still going to want Tariq to be around. But we know what Tariq is doing. He's wilding out. But Diana's in this kitchen in all leather. And that's what I'm saying. She's going to still be around this nonsense. That's what Tahadas do. One minute you think they're trying to go one direction. The next, they're either back in the game or they got sympathy and they ain't trying to take somebody out. Diana is one of the key pieces of why all of this is going down and why Tariq was mad at her. But with Drew getting jammed up, her getting closer back to Monet, she's drawn right into it. And with the stressors she already got, man, she's going to be someone we got to watch out for. Even Effie's going to have to watch out for Diana. At this point in Kane's life, it's whatever. He's down for whatever. He's going to do whatever. We've seen him in the cage fighting. Now he's real close with Noma. And there's also an image of him and Noma kissing. So we know that this relationship is about to be going on strong. And he's really turning into full-fledged Canaan. Look how he's moving through the city. He's questioning people. He don't have a care in the world. He's willing to crash out no matter what's going on. He wants to be involved in it. Now, who is he going to be going after? That is a long list of characters right there. We see him and Monet standing up against Davis and Tariq. We know that he's with Noma also. So Kane is really whoever's going to make me feel like the big dog, make me feel like the man. That's what side he's going to be on, and that's who he's going to be working for. Now, he's definitely going to look out for the family, but at the end of the day, Kane got to look out for Kane. I misspoke and said Kane and Monet. It was Kane and Noma. Now, this alliance right here, remember where it stems from. Tariq and Davis been working together. 
Tariq and Davis have been trying to get some kind of angle to get in with Noma. Kane is already against both of them. Now we have Davis feeding Noma information, Tariq messing with Anya. So this plan where I told you Tariq has to turn into Ghost and not James St. Patrick, it's a full circle right now. One thing we knew about Ghost, was he was going to play anybody against anyone in order for him to win. And right now, Davis is a good adversary. Davis has connected Tariq with all the right pieces. So it's only right that him and Davis, they stand up to Noma and Kane. We know Kane, he's going to crash out about whatever. Now, he might not go at Davis like that, but he still wants Tariq. Regardless of what's going on, he still wants Tariq. Man, what a change of events. I was not expecting this from Don Carter. But, well, this is the power universe. We can't trust anybody. Everyone is a suspect until we remove them from the board. So it looks like this second half, either Don Carter is crooked or he just loved his wife a lot and he's doing whatever it takes to get even. Well, at this point, I don't even think it's getting even. All of this is just revenge and it's a personal vendetta against the streets. But he has a gun pulled out on somebody and he ain't playing around. We seen what he did to Drew and listen, Don Carter, he ain't like any of the other officers that we've seen. But one thing we know about the power universe, no police officer survives. If they are dirty, they're not going to survive. So Don Carter got to watch his back because don't, be, don't believe for a second that Tariq and the crew going to let up. And of course, I said that Drew needed to go to the police and do a little bit of talking. This is not what I meant when I said go down there and tell your truth, Drew. It looks like they whooping Drew's ass down here. I'm just going to be honest. There's no sugarcoating it. They going to be on Drew's head. Now, how will he survive while he's locked up? That's going to be the question we got to figure out. They've been asking me, is there going to be a major death? I did say Drew would probably go to jail, but I was thinking he was going to help Don out. But as we've seen, the turn of events, Don is playing on the dark side. Man, it might be over with for Drew. They might whoop on him out there. Hell, Don Carter might use Drew as a pawn piece, unalive him, and let Monet know I'm not playing around. So do what I say or it's going down. And the last thing we see is Tariq doing what he got to do. We see him getting the gun, loading up. Then the last shot is a shot of Tariq shooting at somebody on the ground. Now, I'm not sure who this could be, but we're watching Tariq, St. Patrick, go from the young boy that we've seen in 2014 to the new ghost in 2024. It took 10 years, but Tariq, you were officially the new ghost. Let's see if you can continue the legacy. Let's see if you can move on. But the second half of this season, it's about to be crazy. And we all looking at Tariq like, what's your next move? All right, there we go. What's next for part two, the season teaser? Let me know what you think about the first half of the season and who is the character you're looking for in the second part to actually step it up and do what needs to be done. Of course, I got my money on Tariq, but choose another character outside of that and let me know what you think the prediction is for them. Are they going to survive or are they going to fall by the wayside? This is the power universe. We got five episodes left. I'm Mo IJ. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. We got us a little break. I'm about to go out of town, but power, it lives on. Remember, it never dies. I'm Mo IJ. Thanks for watching. I'm out.